Hey, yo, what's up, guys? Baby Bear forty eight twelve coming at you one more time. Copy list with random pointer is is today's problem. It's question one three eight. It's an older one, but it's still it's still being asked by Amazon and Facebook quite a bit. Uh, I, I think it's a it's a decent problem and it's not too difficult. I I think with this one, I'm not sure that we will do any whiteboarding because I think the explanation will be pretty self explanatory. There isn't much for me to draw uh, on top of the drawings that are already here. So we'll, we'll, we'll dive right into it and, and, and see what we can make of it. The problem tells us that uh, a linked list is given such that each node contains an additional random pointer, which could point to any node in the list or null. And what that means is we have nodes that have both a value and a next pointer as usual, but they also have a, a dot random, they have a random property. And it says that that can point to another node. So self.random is a reference to another node in that list. Oops, and we want to return a, a deep copy of the list, meaning that we, we want to create a, a completely new list from scratch, essentially. The linked list is represented in the input output as a list of n nodes. Each node is represented as a pair of val random index, where val is the integer representing the node value. And random index is the index of the node, ranging from 0 to n minus 1, where random pointer points to or, or sorry, where random no, uh, random pointer points to or null if it does not point to any node. Okay, so let's make sense of this because the first time around the input had me confused a bit. So if you're confused as well, I, I hope to clarify that for you. Ignoring these kind of random pointers and these, these arrows all over the place right now, let's begin by just looking at the next property. 7.next is 13, 13.next is 11, 11.next is 10, 10.next is, or is 1, 1.next is null, that's the end of the list. So that part is, is just standard linked list stuff. If we look at this, this, this random section though, the way the input is given is as follows. This number over here, in this case it's null, but this second number here represents the almost the index of the node in the linked list. So seven points to, it says null, okay. 13, it says here, according to the input, 13, 0, meaning 13, and then as in the 0th index in the list. And just to make this clear, 13.random uh, is not 0. 13.random is not 7. It's not this value either. 13.random is literally this node itself, is that node 7. And so what we're, what we're going, uh, not what we're going to do, but I, I wanted to clarify that because I, I, at least for me, it didn't sink in the first time. Maybe I was just tired, but... What, what this random pointer is, is it's a pointer to literally a whole other node, not another node's value, okay? And not just any other index either. Um, no other real particular rules apart from that. No no edge cases per se to deal with. Uh, we're told that node.random is always null or points to another node in the list, and there'll never be more than a thousand of them. So we need to think of an approach on, on how to do this. And I, I said no whiteboarding, but maybe we'll, we can jot down a, a few notes just to, to gather our bearings. So we said we're going to need a deep copy. Okay, and one thing that we might want to do for the deep copy is actually going to be uh, something as follows. So maybe we can say something like, maybe as a point A, we are going to want to create uh, create new nodes. Uh, maybe I'll say for each original node. So in that original list that we're given, we have a, a collection of a, some finite number of nodes, and then we're going to want to create a new one with the exact same value for each of those. So one step will be just, let's walk through and, and create these new nodes, and we can link them so we can actually have a linked list. And we'll, we'll ignore the random just for a second, but we can, we can actually create that list quite easily. That would be trivial. The part that, that gets a bit weird is as follows. Let's say that I'm right here and I'm at, I'm at node, I'm at node 11. Okay, let's pretend I made it to node 11, and then I want to set its random property. And I'm told that it points to the fourth item in this list, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, fourth by 0 indexing. So it points to this one over here. And so I can say, okay, well, 11 dot random. I, if I tried to say 11 dot random equals 4, well, that's not right because we need to make it point to another node. So then I can think to myself, okay, well, then I'll say 11 dot random points to this node over here. But... I can't do that because I haven't seen that node yet. If I'm if I'm doing one walk through this way, I'll see the seven, then the thirteen, and you know, you arguably I can make thirteen seven dot random. I can point it to null, sure. Thirteen dot random. I can point it point backwards because maybe I've seen the seven. 
but I get to 11, how do I set 11.random to be one if I haven't gotten there yet? And so what we're gonna need to do is to keep track of, of every single node that exists here and then also, moreover on top of that, I can't make my new 11, so I'm creating a new node with value 11. I can't make it point to this node, this node with the one here. I'm going to need to make it point to a new node with the value one. So what that means is for every single one of these nodes, I'm going to need to have a, a, a sibling node, okay, like a like a, a brother node um, that points to new different a different place in memory, but will have the same value. Okay. So what we'd what we need to do as we create these new nodes, and you can think about this now, like if I've got to create a new one every single time and I, I want to have some sort of mapping or understanding of you know which node will, will point to um, which which sorry if I'm, if I'm using my random pointers and I say okay I've got my, my random pointer points to a right over here points to a node with with value one I'm going to need to understand that this now has a brother node also with value one and I need my new node value 11 to point to my new node value one the way we can do that is by creating almost like a, a mapping list and, and we can create a dictionary as we go through our, our first walkthrough. And if we created a dictionary that said something like, we'll say old node, and then we can, our, our value could be the new node that we create. Well, if we did something like that for each pair, then all of a sudden I can do, I can think about doing two walkthroughs here. I can still do this in linear time, but I think at least the solution I'm, I'm gonna run with here will be, um, will be using two walkthroughs. If I walk through once, I, I create each of these nodes, I connect them all, I have a, a singly linked list, I just append the, I kind of I fulfill that next pointer obligation. I can create a dictionary as I go, saying this original node seven now has a brother node or a sibling node, I don't know what to call them, um, that, that, that has its own place in memory but has the same value. With these new mappings, I can then ask myself when I get to the 11, for instance, when I get to my new 11, I'll say, okay, I need my 11, dot random to equal well the old 11 dot randoms sibling okay so my new 11 is going to have to say let me take the old 11s dot random and I'll find that one's sibling okay I think this will be a bit more clear when we walk through the code but that's going to be just the, the general approach that, that we're going to take here after we go through this in our in our one walkthrough so this is something like oops, this is something like our step one, our first walkthrough. The second walkthrough will actually be, this will be like a part C, and we'll say a fill random pointers. Pointers, pointers, right? So these three steps are, are, are pretty much like how we're going to, to go about answering this question. Again, I, I think it'll be a bit more clear when we actually jump into the code. If you have any questions on it so far, let me know in the comments down below as always, and I'm, I'm happy to address it. Now, I, I'm, I'm going to remove this definition up here. I left it just for the sake of earlier explanation, but I think we can do do away with it. And we'll, we'll start as follows. I realize I'm, I'm really in here today. Um, we'll start with some basic error checking. So we'll start with error checking. Then we'll say uh, create new nodes and and mapping, and then we'll say connect pointer nodes, uh, or sorry, connect random pointers, and then we'll return. So in the actual error checking, I'll I'll say something like this. I'll, I'll just say if not head, we're going to return none. And so we just get a really basic kind of we we, we get nothing, we return nothing. Now we want to create the new nodes and create a mapping. Okay. So I'm going to want to create an entirely new node that'll be called, uh, well, a uh, new node or a new head. I'm going to call it a new head. Um, and that's going to equal list node, I believe was the name of the class. Let me, uh, oh, sorry, it was called node. Okay, uh, node and, and the value that it's going to take is going to take the regular heads value. So this is going to be the new head that we're eventually going to want to return. We're going to need to return a new head because we're asked to return a deep copy of the list, not the original list itself. So that's all fine and dandy. Um, what I'm also going to need to do now is I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to do some walkthrough of my original array. So usually when we do these walkthroughs, we'll say something like uh, cur is equal to head. And then and we'll say something like, you know, while, while cur, and we'll do a whole bunch of work here. And we'll say cur is equal to cur.next and, and we'll, we'll kind of move on with it. And, and so we'll, we'll have a structure like this. 
what we are going to need to do though is as we're walking through, I'm going to have to keep track of my new head and, and connect that one as we, as we go as well. So maybe what I'll say is I'll call this old cur and I'll, I'll make a value called new cur, which is equal to new head. And, and you'll see why in a second. Um, and then finally, that, that dictionary that I talked about that we're going to have to build, I'm going to call old to new, meaning old node to new node, like a, a mapping that'll basically take the, the following shape, something like it'll uh, map from head. So if I ever look up head, I'm going to be interested in that, in that sibling node I was talking about earlier, which would be new head. And so that's going to be the key value pair that we're going to form. Now, uh, we are, are going to want to proceed as follows. So I guess this is old cur. I'm, I'm going to want to say this. I'm going to want to say uh, that for maybe old cur, maybe we'll, we'll start the old cur at head.next, okay? And I, I think what we're gonna do, and the reason we're gonna do that, sorry, is because we already have, um, we already have this, this mapping in here. And mm, okay. so I'm, I'm gonna go back on how I named a few things here, and I, I, I do apologize, but I think this will make a bit more sense. I'm gonna call this, uh, so I'm gonna take the new head and I'm gonna call it previous for the following reason. If I jump into my, my cur here, um, what I'm gonna to wanna to do is, is I'm going to want to say, I'm gonna to wanna to create a new node. So I'll say new node is equal to node with cur.val. So right now, this is starting at the second item in our in our list, so for example, the 13 here. And I'm gonna to wanna to create a new node with that, with that value. Um, I'm then gonna to wanna to say, well, I'm gonna to wanna to say uh, old to new, of cur is going to equal the new node. So I want that mapping to exist. I want my 13 to map to a new node with the same value of 13. That, that sibling relationship that I talked about. What else are we gonna wanna do? I'm going to want to say that, uh, before I move on, I'm gonna wanna say this. I'm gonna wanna take my, um, let me see here. Um, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that my new head and my new list is connected to the subsequent pointer, so the one that we just created. So I'm gonna take prev uh, and set prev.next to equal the, the new node. And I think that I'm missing a step right here. I'm just gonna think for a second. Let's think about this logically as if we're in an interview. Um, I'm creating a new node, okay, that's fine. I'm adding that node to the to the, to the dictionary that I have. I'm then taking my, my new head, which I've called previous, and I'm setting its next property to this new node, okay? And then I'm gonna move along and say cur equals cur dot next. I'm also gonna to have to say prev is equal to prev dot, dot next. And this should get me through, and I, I believe that, I'm, I'm gonna double check this in a second, but this should actually be the entire, the entire process for, for creating an entirely new list, so a deep copy of the list with a whole new set of nodes and, and we're actually now going to have a, a mapping that's gonna tell us, and, and we're gonna see in the next step why we're gonna use that mapping, but that mapping is actually going to, to tell us how we're going to go about setting up these, these random pointers. Now to actually get these connected, we're gonna do something really similar. Uh, we're gonna need to do one more walkthrough, and this one's gonna be from start to finish, just kind of clean in both of our lists. And so I'm gonna set up current, and maybe this time I, I, I can actually call them all old cur, and we'll start that at the head, and we'll start new cur, and that's going to start at the new head. And and what we'll say is something like while while old cur, we're going to do a similar walk through here, and, and I'm going to want to say the following. My new next, okay, so maybe I'll, I'll call it new next, um, I'm going to move my, my face up a bit here, it's not in the way. My new next is going to equal uh, the old to new mapping that we had for the for the current value that I'm at, right? The old current. Um, if uh, I'm sorry, old current, uh, old. Gee, I don't need a new next. I need a new random. Oh boy, I'm getting sleepy. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna want a new random pointer here. If I take the old current value that I'm at and look at its random pointer, well, this is its random pointer which now exists in our dictionary, and it points to the new set of nodes. And so that's why I'm going to want to access my new random variable like this. I'm going to take the old one's random and find its sibling in this new dictionary we just created. Now, I can only do this 
if old cur.random actually exists, if it's not none. Otherwise, if it doesn't, then I'm going to set that to none by default. Um, from there, so we have that new random, and then what I'm going to want to say is, is new cur.random is equal to new random. I'm then just going to move along the old cur is equal to old cur.next. I'm going to move along the new cur is equal to new cur.next, and that'll be it. And so the only real step that we had to do here, and, and I, I know we can, we can definitely kind of concatenate these into one. So I just wanted to split it out while I was explaining it. But hypothetically, there's no reason why we couldn't just do this in one line here and say that we're setting our new current random pointer uh, to point to not the, the old current random, but the new equivalent of the old random. All right, I'm going to run this now really quickly because this is really all the code that we need. I'm going to run this here and everything should submit properly. I So it runs. It, it runs like we wanted it to. Um, I, I, I know there was a bit of back and forth on this video and, and I hope that it didn't get confusing. Uh, if it did, let me know down below. If it really didn't make any sense, I am happy to re-record this video. Um, I wasn't really sure how to go about explaining it in the, in the cleanest way, but I hope that it did make sense. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know as always. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.